Hi, I'm Heidi Brockmeyer with Fertility TV, and I know that you want to learn how to get pregnant fast, so I'm going to give you my top five fertility tips. All right, let's start with tip number one, supplements. You need to take some basic supplements to help boost your fertility. You probably know that taking a daily prenatal vitamin is one of those supplements. Now, I would suggest that you make sure that you have a good quality supplement. They're not all created equally. And I know sometimes you want to save money and get the cheap generic kind, but oftentimes you could then just be throwing your money down the tubes because your body can't really absorb those nutrients. Not all supplements are created equally. So make sure you get a good quality supplement. And I recommend ones that are food-based or there's a lot of research behind them because those are ones that your body is able to absorb the nutrients oftentimes better than the other kind. I would also recommend, recommend a supplement that has the form of folic acid as folate rather than folic acid, methylfolate. Um, this is important in the case that your body is unable to absorb folic acid, which is for those of you that may be positive for MTHFR factor. You can look into that separately. I'm not going to go into that in this video, but uh, a lot of the population is actually positive for MTHFR factor, which means that folic acid isn't absorbed properly into the system and instead turns into homocysteine levels in our body, which is not good for us and can cause fertility issues and miscarriage. So what you can do is avoid folic acid, but instead take methylfolate. Folate is the form that your body is able to absorb. So you do want to make sure you're getting that folate, but you want to get it in a form that's going to be helpful, not harmful. I recommend also taking 1,000 milligrams a day of fish oil and that 500 milligrams of that fish oil be DHA. Uh, DHA has been an essential fatty acid that's been proven to improve egg quality of, uh, I'm sorry, embryo quality for those that are going through IVF. So it's also good for building it up in your body and because it helps with the brain development of the baby once you are pregnant. Again, make sure you get good quality fish oil. And then also I recommend taking an antioxidant powder. I recommend like a green powder or a berry powder that has a lot of food source antioxidants like spinach and so forth. Not a whole lot of herbs because you don't know what else those herbs could do, but food source antioxidant nutrients. Antioxidants clear up free radicals in the body, which can cause DNA damage. So these antioxidants can help with egg quality as well as sperm quality. So I also recommend for your male partner to take a daily vitamin, fish oils, 1000 milligrams, as well as a daily antioxidant powder. All right, so let's go to tip number two, important testing. What testing should you do? What is most imperative? Well, I would never discourage you to go to your doctor or a reproductive endocrinologist and get a thorough fertility workup. But if you're not ready to take that step and you still want to try naturally and you're wondering, ah, do I need to? Well, one test that could really make the difference is to see if your tubes are open. It's not the most fun test. In short, it's called HSG and they put dye inside your tubes and um, do some imaging and make sure that your tubes are open. You just don't want to waste a couple years trying to conceive only to find out later that your tubes are open and it wasn't possible. So I do think that that's an important test, at least to start with. Now, step number three, tip number three, dietary recommendations. Increase protein intake. I recommend having protein with your breakfast and protein with every meal. Studies have shown that women that eat higher levels of protein and lower levels of carbohydrates are much more likely to get pregnant and have healthy pregnancies. So you want less simple carbs, more protein, make sure you're having lots of cooked vegetables, and you eat a warm breakfast every day. Don't skip it. Don't skip meals. Digestion is the foundation of fertility. And have protein with your breakfast. Tip number four, reduce your stress. Stress constricts blood flow to the reproductive organs and it also will affect your hormones. So you're going to release more stress hormones and less reproductive hormones and stress can cause inflammation. So we don't like stress, so try it. Exercise, meditation, Chinese medicine like acupressure, acupuncture, all great for reducing stress. Massage is really good. Also, uh, tip number five, would be keep your uterus warm. 
So you want to make sure that you keep your feet warm and you keep your low abdomen and your low back warm. You eat warm foods, soups and stews, ginger tea is good, and you can use the castor oil pack. You, there's a link here if you want. Uh, you can see I have a video for castor oil pack instructions over the uterus to warm up your uterus. In Chinese medicine, we often say that infertility is caused by a cold uterus. That you, the uterus needs to be warm for an embryo to get nice and cozy in there and thrive, as well as to build a healthy uterine lining and to have hormonal health to support pregnancy. And bonus tip number six, Chinese medicine. It is the ultimate tool for helping to enhance your fertility naturally. It's so effective. I've helped hundreds of women in my clinic and thousands of women around the world with Chinese medicine. You can get acupuncture locally and uh, use Chinese herbs as well. And then in your own life at home and a daily practice, you can use acupressure. It's one of my favorite tools. I love teaching it. Uh, that's what I teach in my program, Total Fertility Wellness. And you can get an introductory fertility acupressure video right here. You can sign up for it. It will increase circulation to your reproductive organs and also help to balance your hormones. It's very easy and it's relaxing. So it will also help with the stress reduction. So. Feel free to leave comments below. Let me know your questions. I can't wait to hear them, hear your thoughts, and thank you for listening. Good luck in getting pregnant.